MAR2 News is Aaron McPherson joins us live this morning with more on what you need to know about this new variant. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Megan and Christian. Well, there is still a lot that researchers are trying to figure out about this variant right now. Experts we spoke with said it could be like the alpha, beta or gamma variant that just kind of went away, or it could be like the delta variant that ran rampant throughout our area. So right now it is just in a watching and waiting stage to figure out exactly what those impacts will be here in Maryland or here in the US. Now the Omicron variant has shown to be more transmissible than the other. But experts say in South Africa, where it was first identified, they aren't seeing very severe infections. So that is a good sign. Now, we talked with a biologist from Loyola University, Dr. Christopher Thompson, and he explained how variants are common with the virus. Viruses are really bad at replicating themselves. They make tons and tons of mistakes. And most of the time, those mistakes end up to a virus that can't spread well at all. But in some cases, it's a lucky mistake that makes the virus spread better or cause more severe disease. When we start noticing those in a population, that's when they're termed a variant of concern. Now, the World Health Organization named the Omicron variant a variant of concern. Now, Governor Larry Hogan stated he received a briefing from the state's COVID-19 response team on the Omicron variant. They plan on closely monitoring the situation and will give updates when needed. And later this week on Thursday, the White House is expected to release details on their plans on fighting COVID-19 throughout this winter. And in the meantime, you are encouraged to practice good hand hygiene, wear your face mask, get vaccinated and get your booster shot. We're not we're live here at the Inner Harbor. Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.